In a dark, noisy room in Oklahoma, air traffic control trainees hunch over radar screens, tracking flights that don't actually exist. Merjet 621, It's a simulation, a test really, to see if these students are ready for the real thing. This is really designed to create a sense of... As close to realistic as we can get. With the pressure yes. that they would feel in real life. Yes. This spring at Newark International Airport, outdated equipment and too few controllers cause days of delays. A deadly mid-air collision of an Army helicopter and passenger plane in Washington and recent close calls on runways... Delta 1943, cancel takeoff clearance. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff clearance. ...also exposed a chronic shortage of air traffic controllers and a system under strain. There are about 11,000 certified controllers, with a need for about 3,000 more. An inspector general's report we obtained shows 20 out of 26 critical locations were classified as understaffed, something Chris Wilbanks is trying to fix. To remind people we didn't get here overnight, so we're not going to get out of the situation overnight. But this is where it all starts. The FAA agreed to let Scripps News get a rare look at how it's working to get more controllers into towers, inviting us to see its largest class ever at its training academy in Oklahoma City. The agency has streamlined hiring, bumped up starting pay by 30 percent, and offered a bonus for those willing to work in more remote areas. The goal? hire 2,000 more controllers this year and more after that. If you want to be an air traffic controller, the demand is there. Uh, you'll come right through the beautiful state of Oklahoma and uh, spend, you know, anywhere from two and a half to three and a half months out here doing the training. President Trump's big policy bill just passed in Congress includes $100 million for new air traffic training tools. But much of what we saw was far from high tech. Money zero, Papa Alpha, we're at Spar Aviation. We were surprised to see toy planes being flown by hand to model takeoffs and landings at a tabletop airport a kid would love. This gives the students the first opportunity to take all the information that they received in academics and actually you know, use it, put it to good use. They also learn how to talk like a controller to pilots from all over the world. Academy Tower holds short runway 16 traffic landing. I've heard there is a controller voice they learn. Yes. What yep. is that? Uh, just from the diaphragm, and I, what I tell the students is uh, say it like you mean it and stick the landing. Only a small percentage of applicants get to the academy. These students have already passed a tough written test and gone through a medical and background check. Many here won't make the final cut when instructors watch them handle the kind of stress we got to experience firsthand. We're simulating a real control tower. These are actually computer screens, but let's pretend they're windows. Okay. And we're looking out at this this fictitious airport called Academy Airport. It doesn't actually exist, so let's put a headset on you. With the help of an experienced controller and a script of what to say... Are you ready? I don't know. Academy Tower Twin Cessna 310 by November. Coming up on Sand Springs with Julie. I began giving commands to a Cessna preparing to land. Enter, Enter left, left downwind, downwind runway, runway 28 left. left. You nailed it. Enter left downwind runway two eight left. You don't, don't have to say please. <laughs> <laughs> One plane was hard enough. Then came more. So now I'm keeping track of two planes. You're talking, three planes. You're talking to two and you're looking at three. Even with radar, I'm told to rely on my eyes to constantly scan the sky. We use paper strips to help keep track of flights. Oh, I've been given this paper strip. Ground gave you a strip for a departing aircraft. They're oh, on now that's a fourth airplane? Well, you're not talking to them yet, so don't stress just yet. Line up and wait. I like it. What if I said the wrong thing? Like, what if I accidentally cleared him to take off? Who would check me on that? You wouldn't be over my shoulder in real life. No. The intense focus and high stakes help explain why a surge of controllers training today can't just begin tomorrow. We still aren't at a point where computers can successfully keep planes separate and safe. No, I think you're always going to have to have the human in the loop separating the airplanes. It won't be in my lifetime that we will have AI clearing someone for takeoff. Those who graduate will continue training in real control towers before finally able to help keep flights taking off and landing safely.